was, yeah. Let's try putting your shoes on that might help. Maybe that'll help. And the lights will help. You don't have to live your life under such harsh judgment of yourself. That's just going to weigh you down, which is, you know, she drew the chains on me that I was kind of breaking free from. And all that judgment that you put on yourself, which was judgment I gave myself for my eating disorder and judgment I got through my marriage and judgment through my religion and everything. I think it all weighs you down and you don't have to live your life that way. And if you don't live your life focusing on all that, then you're just much lighter, you're freer and it's better. Okay, it's one ten. <clears throat> Dope. So we're here to discuss mainly um, the microaggressions. We posted our Check Yourself campaign, and I'm just gonna explain why we started posting these. The things that are posted, 90% of them are things we heard at this school from people we are the people that are in our environment. The other 10% are of things we've heard in the field, like if we're working on a show over the summer. So this is all things we've heard while doing our art. So we wanted to put it out there because I know people assume that because we're in an art school, it's such an open, accepting environment and there's no racism, there's no sexism, there's no homophobia, but that's not true. And we experience it every day. Jennifer, your thoughts. If you want to, you don't have to, but if you want to, I'd love to hear, we'd love to hear. Okay. What I'm about to say is in no disrespect to mm -hmm. anyone here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's just something I was kind of thinking of since of like yesterday and like... I, I feel it in all of you that like you want to learn, you want to help, you want like you have a genuine passion and interest for them. But I feel it like as a group we have to understand that there are natives who don't like us, who won't want mm -hmm. white people coming mm -hmm. onto their land like mm -hmm. that man said. And the way I see it, it's like, as a native, I am really privileged to be here. Because, like, mm. I feel like I am learning a lot about myself and, like, my indigenous aspects I couldn't learn on my own. I feel like everything's taken. Mm. Like, the land, my identity, like, my connection to the land and everything. And so... It's a very good place to be and to notice it to name it and to be with a not knowing and to allow for this to be spoken. Mm. It's an excellent place to be in. Very good. Thank you. Just like I said, I was doing something to my car the next morning. I was sweeping it out or maybe I was washing it, I don't know. And I had the radio turn on and, and uh, the news come on the radio that they had a uh, Murdered with Earl, got him out of Pickens County Jail and carried him to Greenwood County and murdered him. And I told my mother, that I'm, I'm going to drive over there just to see. I want to see that spot that where Willie was murdered. Yeah. At the top of this hill right here. This, this is it. This is it right here, right here, right here. Right here. This is it. I noticed uh, what the, the cab drivers had just drove all up on the side and in this area right over there. And that's where they killed him at, and that's the area right there. And I just sat here in my car and just looked and cried to myself. It was a sad, sad, sad moment. They would be shouting, freeze my goal. I hear them steal. In that little, oh, that wooden church house.